Oh, hello there. And how are you doing? Oh, I am so glad to hear it. Welcome to 2021. I hope everyone did all right over Christmas time. Did uh, Father Christmas or Santa Claus manage to get past all the quarantines and all the border controls and all the lockdowns to make that very special visit? Mm -hmm. Well, he did here, so I did all right. <laughs> well, it is 2021 and it is cold outside. Let me show you. This is the view from my little garden room. You can see the bird table here and yes, that's white stuff is snow coming down. It's <laughs> dreadful stuff. It was a bit crunchy underfoot when I went out to feed the birds this morning. Well, what can you say? It is winter after all. But inside, I'm not doing too bad. It's warm enough. Now, we're in week 43 of quarantine and lockdown. The country's in its third total lockdown. Can you believe that? And we here in this area have been moved into what they call tiers, levels. We are now in level three, which means essential movement only. Well, <laughs> you look outside, there's nobody doing much moving at all today with all the snow and ice on the road. <laughs> But some places are tier four, and I'm not exactly sure what tier four means, but they're talking about tier five and tier five. I think you're supposed to stop breathing <laughs> or hold your breath during that time. It's bizarre. The whole thing is absolutely crazy, but that's the way it is. What can you do? Now, I have been busy over the Christmas period getting my simulator, you know, brought up to date a little bit here, a little bit there, as I could take some time onto it. I managed to get Flight 2 computer all, com all programmed, all finished. All of the sceneries are loaded in it and everything else. So I brought it in and attached it to the three monitors which I've got in my flight simulator room. So let me show you a little bit about what we've got in there, shall I? Well, here we are. I'm sitting in the left side and here are the three monitors. I noticed there was a bit of a gap on the left hand side at the bottom edge. So I've decided I'm going to move them down. And here you can see a what happened after I moved that left monitor down. That means that they are staggered. But the front view is full and with no problems. And here you can see the gap at the top and I've done the same thing at the other side. I've staggered it there also. And looking down the business end of the computer you can see flight one at the far end there that's the one that's going to be actually running the hardware yes a lot of wires there's a ton of wires there and that of course is flight two that is just going to run the three monitors alone now we'll have a little walk around. There's the simulator. And here's the view from the other side. There's flight one. And there you can see how the monitors are staggered down just a little bit. 
Now here's a very interesting thing I discovered. When I measured the distance between the left side and the right side, I found that there was a disparity. The left side is 85 millimeters and the right side is 100 millimeters. And I discovered the reason for that is not that the monitors were not level because I checked all three monitors, they are level. But the floor of my bedroom, the spare bedroom, it is not level. <laughs> so, it's an old building and you know how things are, so I'm just going to have to live with the 15 millimeters offset. So the first thing I had to do was to go in and here you can see the three monitors and then I have to adjust the monitors until they are properly aligned. Now here you can see that I've got monitor number one is slightly higher than the others and to test it I'm moving it through all the three screens. Yes, you can see it's the same at both sides, at the top and the bottom, so everything is quite smooth on that. Look at that. It was a little bit fiddly, but I managed to do it. And that's my screen arrangement right there, as you can see. Number one in the center, and three at the left, two at the right. Now, in order to work with the view groups, it's important that you have the proper calculations. So I did some measuring. I have a protractor, so I did angles between the left monitor and the center one and then between the right monitor and the center one here. It gives me a field of view of 75 degrees. Now, that point at the bottom is the center of the cockpit, pretty much where an eye would be if a person was sitting in that position. And it was also the same when it came to the vertical. Here's a crude drawing to show what the field of view would be. Oh, here I am at Alicante and panning over to the left and here's the mouse button and you can see the top of the screen there and I'm just passing through the bezel. Now over here I can see another aircraft parked and it seems like I'm probably a little bit low compared to that so I need to raise this up. This by the way is just the default view inside P3D. So it's uh, not a bad view. It's made all the adjustments. Almost. The adjustment down there is pretty good. But over here, I think I need to adjust the, the road. So some work is needed. So. That is where I'm at at this particular moment. I've got all three monitors now arranged. I've got them staggered. The program works. And all I need to do now is do a little bit of tweaking to get the proper height because I'm using a dummy aircraft in um, Flight 2 computer because that's not going to be running P3D. That's on Flight 1. So. I'm using a dummy aircraft and I need to raise the point of view up a little bit in order to match that other aircraft, that other 737 that you saw off to the side. And um, 
that's the best way I know of doing it. Um, I need to go up about one meter and there is a way of doing that in Prepared 3. So I thought I'd give you this update and let you know that I'm still well, I'm still healthy, I'm still safe. I haven't got COVID ha! after 43 weeks of being locked up or locked down. Well, one of those things and no parole. Ha! I'm still all right, as I hope you are too. So may I wish you all a very, very good 2021. Better than 2020 was. I really hope that you have a wonderful year looking ahead. So I'll see you on the next and hopefully I'll be up and running. <laughs>